A hundred years ago, in 1915, an eight-year-old child from a farm in Yepocapa approached Dr. Rodolfo Robles' office because of ocular and skin problems. Upon examination, Dr. Robles found a nodule in the child's forehead, which he removed, opened, and inside he found some long threads, which he identified as Oncocerca volvulus worms, the cause of onchocerciasis. It was the first case of onchocerciasis reported in Guatemala and in America. After the removal of the nodule, the child's sight improved, thus finding that it was useful to remove nodules. Being this the only available treatment at the time, the Ministry of Health appointed health teams in 1935 that went on for decades removing thousands of oncocircal nodules. Farms were very hard to access and health workers needed to get there by horse. In each site, they put together makeshift clinics to remove the nodules. Oncocerciasis is caused by a worm that damages skin and eyes and can ultimately blind persons. The worm is transmitted through the bite of small black flies that breed in clean water rivulets often found in the coffee-growing region of Guatemala. In 1987, the Oncocerciasis history underwent a fundamental change when Merck and Company presented Ivermectin, or Mectizan, a new drug that killed macrofilaria and triggered mild side effects to persons. Merck committed to donate ivermectin for as long as needed to eliminate onchocerciasis in the 37 countries affected by the disease. In Guatemala, the disease was found in four areas that were known as foci. Santa Rosa, Huehuetenango, Guatemala Escuintla, and the central focus located between Suchitepeques, Chimaltenango, and Sololá departments. The central focus was one of the areas in the Americas where the disease was severest and more persons were affected. In 1993, the Carter Center's Oncocerciasis Elimination Program for the Americas, OEPA, was established with its mission to support both technical and financially the ministries of health of the six endemic countries in the Americas. With OEPA's guidance, the Ministry of Health developed an ample participative education strategy to encourage the commitment of health workers and community leaders to reaching high ivermectin treatment coverage every six months in all 518 affected communities. Educational materials and tools were produced which helped in ivermectin distribution. In addition, persons involved with the program held periodical meetings. Thus, neither the sun nor pouring rain hindered the visits of health and volunteer workers to distribute the drug. Day, night, or weekends, they went in search of people to give them ivermectin. This tremendous effort bore fruit in 2002, when Guatemala for the first time reached a treatment coverage higher than 85%. The program kept coverages high until, one by one, all foci interrupted transmission of the disease. Santa Rosa in 2006, Guatemala Escuintla in 2007, Huehuetenango in 2008, and the central focus in 2011. In 2010, the Art as a Bridge to Health strategy was implemented with the guidance of Caja Ludica Group, and health teams and community collaborators saw their artistic skills surface. Participation levels were unprecedented. Elderly ladies portrayed the onchocerciasis worm in the streets. Children posing as health workers or black flies. Teenagers in stilts playing the role of supermectizan and Caja Ludica artists spreading the joy and the celebration spirit. Thus, Uncle Circaiasis was placed in a leading role in the communities. People in the streets were surprised, happy, and amused. It was something never seen before. In 2011, after distributing more than 3 million ivermectin treatments, persons and flies were assessed and both showed that Uncle Circaiasis transmission had stopped in the communities. In 2014, after three years of surveillance without treatment, new assessments to flies confirmed they remained free of worms and therefore, onchocerciasis had been eliminated. In 2015, 
the Ministry of Health requested the verification of this achievement to the World Health Organization. The following institutions played an important role in this story of success that led to elimination of onchocerciasis from Guatemala. This success was a product of a hundred years of committed work of many persons, institutions, and especially of health workers and affected communities. This Guatemalan public health triumph belongs to them all.